Hello guys and girls, um, I'm on my quest to find a good engineering square uh, to use mainly for verifying my combination squares are true and my saw blade is square to the surface. So first I got myself a pair of uh, gross squares. Um, they are it's an Indian company made in India. Uh, they have two two series. These are machinist machinist square and less precise ones, and they also have a precision squares which are uh, much more precise, uh, but cost about like four times more. So um, right, and after that, I went ahead and tried another set uh, from my gauging. So I got. 150 mil square from my gauging. It came with a plastic case and 300 mil from my gauging, which came in a wood case. Yeah, so nothing fancy, just a sticker. I gauging USA Precision Engineering made in China. Cool. So inside there is a square. Yeah, nice square. Right, let's take it out. Let's take out the big one as well. This one is heavy. Hefty, heavy square. Okay, the box is basic, but I don't know, does the job. At least there is a box. So, price wise, uh, this is uh, 150 from my gauging. Cost me $32 Australian dollars. You can get one cheaper, like for 25, I think. Again, with the case, the one from Gross is 17 for the basic series. Yeah, but no case at all. So 300 mil cost me 89 bucks from my gauging. And similar one from Gross cost 75. So the same, more or less the same price range. Now, precision. Uh, Gross doesn't have any standard stated on it, so they just say squareness up to 72 microns. No, not too bad. Yeah, this is a 100 mil one, also 72 microns. Now, I gauging all it says on the description on their website, it's manufactured to DIN 875 1 standard, which says. The squareness should be 18 micron for 150 mil and 25 micron for 300 mil. Right, so um, let's compare the construction and build quality. So I gauging has three locking pins here. Um, very built very substantially. So it's a thick blade, feels like you can bend it at least easily a uh, wide stock, quite hefty. Check the weight. Check the weight soon. Uh, yeah, so I gauging weights 352. Similar one from Gross. 43, about 30% less. Oops, not square anymore. Um, anyhow, the one from Gross, I can't see any locking pins here. Yeah, so interesting, how did they do that? So another thing is one from Gross, it has its blade flush with the stock, right? So it's like one, one line here, focus, one line here while with engaging it's not really flush it doesn't matter like i don't see any any situation where i can need this but i'm just an amateur so what do i know uh, they both has a notch here though in uh, gross the notch is only on the stock while in engaging it's both in the stock Yeah, you can see the notch here, both on the stock 
and the blade. Again, it doesn't matter for me, but that's the difference. Another thing is uh, dimensions. So, so this guy is a hundred and two hundred and one by yeah by one hundred and fifty fifty one yeah so it's about one fifty more or less yeah so you can't use it as a dimensional like a depth gauge it's about one fifty and a half uh, this guy it grows it's quite puzzling because packaging says it's it should be 150 long focus please focus come on yeah it should be the blade should be 150 long from the outer edge of the stock and reality is is that is one one eighty sorry one seventy seven so it's not one fifty not even close so then I thought well maybe that they they made a mistake and it's a difference from the inner line of the stock then not really as well it's one fifty three something so yeah this is kind of off in that sense but again it's a square and. All it matters that it should be square. So one more thing. So the the eye gauging one feels much more stable. Its uh, stock is wider, like roughly twice as wide as you can see, and the blade uh, much thicker. So it looks like twice as thick on camera, but actually it's three mil versus two mil on gross. Yeah, but this feels like like I can bend it, like and accidentally and this one is like solid top notch okay so these are all minor things basically the only thing that these guys need to do in their life is to be square so let's check let's check how square are they for that i'll turn on my lamp and uh, let's bring big let's bring in the big boy uh, yeah this one weighs by the way 1100 grams yeah so it's a hefty piece of hefty piece of steel so first let's compare two eye gauging squares to see if they are coherent one with each other this this gives us some reference point so first thing you notice when you if you ever put two flush metal surface uh, surfaces one against each other you notice they can if they really flush they start to bind and this is what I feel right now. So they're binding. So now let's join them together. Yep. And yep, we got our square. So this is in my experience as, as square as it gets. I can't see any light at all. I put a lamp on the background on purpose so I can easily see light rays coming in through the gaps, but I can't see any. Uh, well, I obviously tested it before shooting, so it's not a surprise for me, but it's still impressive to see it every time I do it. Now, then let's take a gross 150 or 180 to be precise. And let's see if we have a match. Yep, pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Looks good. Let's see if it's square on the other side. And surprise, surprise. So this is where 72 micron tolerance comes in. Yeah, I guess it's, on the, it's square on the outer edge, but on the in, inner edge there is a noticeable gap it's, it's it's yeah so it's squarish uh, I can eyeball it by measuring the same gap on my 
color pair and yeah i can tell it's yeah about seven yeah it's, it's within that 72 microns yeah i'd be surprised if it's more again this also has tolerance of one uh, of 18 microns so need to account for that but but no 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 it's a, yeah yeah there is a gap so it's 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 not as square as as i gauging one but then again it doesn't say it is it's five times less square let's try the other guy this is the 100 mil or 120 yeah and yep there is a gap you can see the gap on the top it's quite vivid quite vivid and let's square it from inside and yeah this is a gap again here and it's even bigger so yeah you can see kind of the blade is parallel in a way but yeah but it's off just tiny bit off but it's off again within the spec so i don't think you it's a like manufacturing fault uh but what I can say is we can tell the difference between 20 micron squares and 70 micron squares, at least on the, on the examples that I got. Let's do it again. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much flush. This tiny, tiny gap of light here and And in the square is off. And again, I gauging against I gauging. Yeah, flush. Flush, flush as a wall. Yep. Okay, so to wrap it up. Um, I think they both do what they say they do and um, so these guys they say they're within 72 microns and probably they are from what my eyes can tell and these guys say they are better uh, and they are better again from what I can test here uh, in my lab environment um anyhow i will be staying with eye gauging i guess for the pretty much the same price particularly if you consider it's the tool that's gonna last you a while if you take care for it the price difference is negligible and you get the case which is worth worth it alone and you get much better precision and better more substantial build quality so this time I'll go with the gauging and thank you Gross, you're going back in to store. <laughs>